Hi everyone, today I am doing a reading on Justin Bieber and his new wife Hayley Baldwin. So, this is going to be a celebrity reading which was highly requested. I did one on Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. I also did um, some on the Kardashians, Khloe Kardashian, Tristan Thompson. Those Kardashian ones actually ended up happening. The predictions did come true, which I don't know why I'm so surprised about that because... It, it happens, <laughs> it genuinely does, but that's why I'm a tarot reader, and um, so I'm going to be doing one for Hayley Baldwin and Justin Bieber and the, f the relationship. So um, yeah, so let's begin. You'll be amazed at the amazing things that Tara can tell us when you have a genuine reader, so yeah, if you want to check out those reads, you most certainly, certainly can. Let us begin. Very interesting cards to begin with. So, um, I usually always, always read upright. So, for example, this card came out in reverse for me. I would turn it round. But I'm going to keep it like this because the guides just told me that card, the way you're seeing it right now, you need to keep it like that. So the other ones I turned upright, but this one... No. So, The Fool is about this new journey. They are both on this new journey together and it is, it's so obvious, right, in the press. I mean, you can't even write it. They're on a new journey, embarking from zero. It's this beautiful new journey that where they want to share their life together for the rest of their, their lives. And um, that is that. Um, I do, however, believe that the fall is a bit more of an immature kind of energy, but also very playful and fun, and I feel like the decision that they made to be together could have been made from a more of a, like, a playful sort of, sort of energy than it could be of extreme seriousness. I know that sounds terrible, but that's what the fall indicates. It's just about make, taking a leap of faith and having this new beginning. That's how I see it. Um, so we will see in terms of commitment what comes round. We also have here the King, the Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Knight of Pentacles, when it's like this, is about a very slow but sure offer. The fact that it's reversed says that the offer still came, but it was very, very quick because the Knight of Pentacles is really, really, really slow. This was a very fast offer. Um, that I believe was made to her very, very quickly. Um, and I feel like he decided pretty quickly that he wanted to be with her and to start this brand new journey. The Three of Pentacles is about community service and giving back. And I think that's something that the Justin Bieber really, really likes to do. Um, I feel like his um, wife likes to do that as well. And so they they tend to do um, quite a bit of like community service and even just doing little bits here and there for other people with no real financial gain. So they do do things that don't necessarily have like a financial gain to them. I also see here with the nine of wands that there is, you know, they, they did think about this. It wasn't 100% rushed. Um, there was a lot of thinking from, from Justin's side as to, you know, him wanting to be with her for the rest of his life. So it wasn't a completely rushed decision, even though it can appear like that from the outside. Um, I do feel like he definitely weighed out the pros and cons and definitely thought about all the ins and outs before he made that decision. But it was a very quick decision, um, as I can see here. So the Wheel of Fortune indicates um, a new a new start, a new, a, you know, again, a brand new start with the Fool, but it's, it's the wheel turning, it's the karmic wheel turning, it's about maturity as well for him. Specifically, I just noticed the Queen of Pentacles, he sees her as a queen. He sees her as someone very, very stable and mature and someone he can have a life with. Someone someone just really, really grounded in that and someone that can understand his way of life and his um, lifestyle. Sorry, just thought I'd take a little water break. <laughs> Mouth is getting super dry. And then you have the Ace of Wands, which is him offering out that olive branch to her. So, you know, that, that offering that was made to her in order to make her 
his um, girlfriend, wife, you know, etc., etc., the mother of his children, future children. Um, so that is what the Ace of Wands is there for. You also have the star, which is this wish. It's almost like he wished for someone like her. And this is all coming out now, which is crazy because in the beginning, I feel like this is from the outside, this is what we see, that, you know, he made this very quick offer. It seems very immature and very quick and all of this. But deep down, this is like the car, you know, this is like karma and him understanding himself and taking time out and really being able to work on himself to the point where he he's able to understand this is the woman that he wants to be with, who is grounded and extremely, you know, not just beautiful, but things happen around her and it's the right match for him. Him offering that olive branch to her and realizing this is really truly what he's wanted and he doesn't want this to go. It's, you know, wishing upon that star. And it's also about him being able to be emotionally open with her. I see a lot of emotion here, which is really, really positive because it shows that he's really genuinely emotionally open um, in regards to this particular love connection. The moon is about secrets, but again, uh, moon is ruled by Pisces, but again, lots of emotional, emotional things. So I feel like he's had a lot of secrets and a lot of things that he has shared with her. Because you have the moon and the stars. I'm just taking another little water break. Sorry, guys. So, um, for sure. For sure. Um, a lot of hidden things um, that have come to light. And he has brought, the, you know, brought that to light to her. And been very, very honest. This is about honesty. Secrets coming to light. That kind of stuff. Not leaving her in the dark whatsoever. Let's continue on. I definitely feel like he's very very open with her and very very honest with her I feel like this is something he couldn't do in past relationships there's something really profound about both of them to the point where they're just so open and honest with each other and that's something that's made him realize that this is definitely the woman for her he, he doesn't he, he just doesn't feel like he could have done that with someone else if that makes any sense Oh my gosh, you can't write this. The Ten of Cups is about emotional fulfillment in so many ways, but more in terms of emotion. The Cups are all about emotion. Emotional fulfillment, a happy family life, um, just really being happy and at peace in this relationship. That's just how they both feel. And that is something that he, as I mentioned before, he hasn't felt that way. He feels so emotionally open, so physically open and mentally open with her that he hasn't felt that with anyone else. And that's why the Queen of Pentacles came out. This is how he sees her. He has made many you know, pros and cons, I'm sure, in his mind, but he has decided to embark with her on this particular journey. This one flipped over inside. We have here the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords, interestingly enough, is quite a different character. Mistake me if I'm wrong, but Justin Bieber is a Taurus, and Tauruses are very stubborn. The King of Swords is also quite a stubborn character, but, but one that is very much in their own power. They know what they want, they know what they like, and they go after it pretty, pretty hard. And they also like to communicate quite a lot. So um, this is his energy, in my opinion. Now with Tarot, there is no like female and male. So this energy could have been Justin Bieber. This energy could have been Hayley Baldwin. But the way in which the cards came out today, this really did point towards Hayley. This points towards Justin. King of Swords energy. They balance each other really, really well. Um, and, you know, King of Swords is not necessarily known to be quite emotionally open. I feel like he wasn't, and that's not a side that he shows to everyone. I feel like that's a side that he shows mainly to her. Now, in the press, he has sometimes been caught, you know, crying and things like that, but he hasn't openly been in the press and or on a red carpet and cried in front of people. He's tried to keep it very, very um, behind the wraps and not in front of people. So, yeah, he, you know, he kind of comes across as someone that's not very emotional, but he is. Oh. Okay. Oh, my God. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck. We're going to take that. We are going to take that. 
So the other card we have is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is this very, very soulmate type of an energy. Um, the, these cups don't have water in them, so they're not emotional cups. They're like very playful and fun, balancing off each other and having a really, really good time. Those are the kinds of cups that are. It's a very soulmate energy. It's just really young and fun, and that's how they complement each other really, really well. Also, you have the Two of Cups, which was at the bottom of the deck, which the bottom of the deck, you usually have the sort of underlying energy. So that's that underlying energy where it's very, very mutual. He wants to give his cup to her. She wants to give his cup to him. It's emotional. It's mutual. It's mental. It's physical. It's stability. It's, it's everything. And you cannot have a relationship with both of those things. So... That is the reading for Justin Bieber and Hayley Baldwin. It looks to be a really, really good um, time for them right now in their lives and just in general enjoying, you know, themselves and what has come to be. So um, for those of you that are wondering whether they have the potential to last, I am going to finally do a three card spread on that and on the future of their relationship. So let's have... Oh my god, they keep all falling on the floor. Right, let me pick that up. There was only one card. Okay. Ten of Swords. I want all three cards. Okay, here we go. Ten of Swords. We have the Two of Pentacles and we also have the Six of Swords. If you were to ask me, are Heavy Baldwin and Justin Bieber going to be married forever and ever and ever until death do them part, I will say maybe. Now the reason I'm saying maybe is because there's a strong chance here that they can work out these particular issues that have been pointed out. However, I, would be, I wouldn't be surprised at all if there was a divorce or a separation. In fact, I would probably say that is highly, highly likely. And I know that sounds really harsh, especially for like someone outside of their relationship to say that kind of stuff, but that's just what Tarot is telling me. I'm seeing that they can be hurt. Um, later on down the line, this is not right now, this is later on down the line, there can be a lot of hurt. This can be arguments, betrayal, um, sadness, being stabbed in the back, something genuinely happening to the point where the other person is just walking away. There's a lot of emotional emotional intensity in this you have water here someone trying to go away from the situation because there's just too much emotion um trying to balance and juggle this relationship but it's almost impossible and very very difficult rocky in the background emotion you also have here a person completely stabbed in the back so much baggage there's a lot of baggage here as well so with this particular relationship I don't feel like it's going to last. The reason I said maybe is because everyone has free will and if they choose to work it out and to continue on with it, they can. However, I do feel like in the end it is going to lead to separation um, where both parties are going to have baggage from this particular relationship and I feel like it's all going to be emotional. There's so much water and, you know, it's it's very, like, rough seas um, in these particular cards as well. So I do feel like this is going to take a lot of healing from because it may have all seemed so perfect but there's definitely a lot of emotion that's going to be involved in this later on down in the line which can make it very very difficult to balance and juggle so um in terms of that should we pull some more cards because i don't know this reading is definitely intriguing and interesting me for sure whatever essentially happens in the future is going to be part of the karmic cycle it's going to be a part of a it's going to be a completion so i do feel like because you know 10 is also a completion this is also a completion whatever happens it happened for a reason it happened for a purpose and um, that's what the world here is showing us do i feel like they're going to last though let's see what the final card says because the world really doesn't say much um other than it is a karmic cycle to whatever we are discussing. 
I don't feel like they're going to last. The main reason is because of all of these cups, emotion, water, focusing on the negative, not necessarily the pos positive in a marriage can be very, very um, difficult. As you can see, you have two cups here. These two cups that they're offering themselves, you know, this person's looking at the three that have fallen over, but not the two behind which are very very positive i don't feel like they are going to last as a couple in the future um i feel like everything has been really really positive but i do feel like this is a karmic cycle this is something that needed to happen for both of them to learn from but do i feel like they're going to last together forever no because i feel like there's going to be a lot of emotional turmoil a lot of emotional turmoil and it's going to affect both of them quite heavily um, especially with carrying a lot of baggage and a lot of hurt as well. It's just going to be very, very emotionally emotionally challenging, draining and hurt, hurtful. So if you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Leave a comment down below as well um, if you have anything to say about this particular reading. And um, yeah, I will see you all very, very soon. As I mentioned, this is only for entertainment purposes. But a lot of the predictions do happen, so you will just have to keep a watch out on what happens in the future. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!